Guys, like literally the strip club is a prime example of how the sex industry is always gonna be booming and like guys don't give a fuck and they're gonna pay. So you like, wouldn't oh, you yeah. wouldn't date a stripper or, or a server? If it was like a straight up like it's just oh, me oh, and yeah, her. Again, if it's just me and her, <laughs> no. Nah. It would be open relationship. Okay, if it would be, you know, yeah, if it's a stripper, it's an open relationship. Apartment. I would be okay with dating someone that worked at the strip club though. To me that's a simp. So you would be able to live with yourself? <laughs> Uh, welcome back guys, this is After Rodeo, we're back with the boys, Alex and Alan, and the one and only, Yo, aka Moneybag Yo. How you, how you been, Yo? Um, I've been pretty good. You've been good? Um, we haven't seen you in over a year, right? She, over a year, she, she, yeah. The grind, the grind, a pandemic. pandemic. Yeah, the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a pandemic, it's a pandemic, everybody's been getting money. Mm -hmm. So oh, what's yeah. your actual name, though? Yo, Hami said, but already just called me Yo. <laughs> Hey, yo. Hey, yo. I mean, just to simplify it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants to that's say your homie said. It's too complicated for it's people. It's pretty unique, though. Yeah. Your mom, she gave that, just said, you know what? Let no, me it wasn't see. even my mom. It was my aunt. She aunt. Yeah, I don't even know. She has a weird ass name, too. <laughs> so you're a twin, though, right? Yeah, I'm a twin. Ooh. Double trouble. Hey. Were you born first or. Yeah, Last. I was born first. Well, oh, we were born through C-section, but okay. I got pulled out Ooh, first. Shout so out to what's your up, mom. guys? For yeah. real, C-section. That's yeah. tough. Damn. You know? So does it mean that twins run through your family? Because honestly, yeah, there's a lot of twins in my family. That would be so Damn. badass to have a there's funny like, twin. No, like there's a lot of twins in my family. Like I have cousins and Shit. like cousins and cousins Shit. of twins. So yeah. I wish I had twins. I wish I had a, a twin. That'd be that'd be fucking lit. Nah, it's kind of weird. Uh, to be honest, I'm. They've been thinking the same shit you're thinking. For real? For real? Yeah, like Mitzi. Sometimes I'll be thinking something, and she'll say it, or I'll say it, and she was gonna say it, or we'll say it. At I mean, the same that could time. be any sibling, what though. No, it's not because it doesn't happen. I with know any it's a difference siblings. between twins. Like it's different. You telepathically speak yeah, with each other. Probably like, <laughs> yeah, probably like. Yeah, I know. Talking to each other. Yeah, motherfucking ants. You think you can feel? Yeah, my little ant. What's up? You think if somebody's getting hurt, you can feel it? Uh, not <laughs> like kind of, kind of, like kind of. I mean, yeah, y'all can try it out. Like, kind of, the shit out of me and see I mean, kind of like a mother. You know how they say that like, a mother feels when you're hurt or something happens to you. Oh yeah, I've heard that. Shit, what? maybe your mom? like when your mom knows that something Ooh. happens to you. I yeah. mean, no. I mean, the only thing with her, like, I get. If I, if for example, like I have my location, like I share my location with her, like I know where my siblings are at all times. Yeah. But I don't know. It's weird with her. Like if I don't know where she's at, I get like really bad anxiety. Shit. True. Yeah. Like I get like yeah. Like I be stressing out and I don't know why. You just get that, or does she also? I don't know if it's ever happened to her, but I get stressed out. Like me, I get anxiety. Now, no one insists she don't go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe. Game. Yeah. Maybe it's just me. But like, yeah. I remember one time I was like, "Where's she at?" And I go Damn. freaking the fuck out. Have you ever fought over a boy? No. Never. never. Mm -mm. Cap, no. <laughs> nah, I, just I, don't, I mean, nah, I, don't, I don't. I don't think so. No, I've never been. Nah, that's that's interesting. I think we have different tastes for sure. Mm -hmm. I would say you guys are kind of like different though, so it it would make sense that you know. Guys, we're just twins. We're not the same person. Exactly. <laughs> it is true. I mean, she. But how's it been? The uh, the pandemic. Uh, working at a strip. You work uh, at a strip. Hello. <laughs> What exactly do you have to strip? Are okay, you the, yeah, are you the main dancer? Are no, you the back I'm a dancer? waitress. You're a waitress. Mm -hmm. I'd be serving the drinks. I'd be getting them fucked up. Oh, see? Yeah, by the way, I'm, I make a lot of dumb faces and I say a lot of cuss words out. Oh. Yeah, man, fuck <laughs> Get ready with those little bleep or the little quack sounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't bleep anything. This oh, is like, all good. Oh, y'all aren't going to do it wrong. Wrong, uncut. What's okay? Uh, yeah. Mm. Nah, yeah, we, we don't bleep anything. Unless it's mm. not for Instagram, then yeah, we have to bleep it. But for if, real? if it's oh, uh, YouTube, then yeah, okay. we don't go fuck. As long as you hear the little quack sounds, I'm like, oh, the quack. <laughs> she said, not the quack. <laughs> yeah, but... Dang, okay, so you're, you're a waitress, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. How long have you been working as a waitress? I've been working there about a year and like, I think five months now. Yeah. That's a that's a oh, long time. Shit. Yeah, so it's, it wasn't I'm kind of like, known now. <laughs> I got a rep. I pretty much run it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like, nah, I'll come in when I want to. <laughs> How long have you been working there now? Yeah, you're in like five months. Oh shit! She just said. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I totally you so now. <laughs> doing his homework, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I still doing my homework. Hurry up with that assignment, bro. It's almost noon. I know the fucking pandemic, bro. How's it been with the whole pandemic working? At the strip club. Yeah. I, I mean, know, right. motherfuckers still be going like crazy. No, or? yeah, honestly, like nothing can stop. No offense, guys, but like these little dirty old men don't give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nothing Amen. can stop. Yeah. I mean, shit, don't tell us. We don't go to strip club. Nah, Not shit. job. I'm saying just about men in general. Okay, so you're telling don't me. Don't take it personal. <laughs> <laughs> so you hit a, you hit a nerve. Yeah? <laughs> Not me. Oh, good for you. Don't go to a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, they still 
Mm. Dude, I think that the only, like throughout the whole pandemic, like the deadest it was, which was Valentine's Day, but it's just because we had a fucking like blizzard. Oh <laughs> yeah. It was like honestly, that's like the only thing that kind of stopped them, but not even because there was still some of them that would show up. Like, what? wait, you like worked through the blizzard? Yeah, honestly, because we okay, <laughs> like okay. I didn't even go to work. No, nah, it's just the owner. Yeah, honestly, he kind of just you know he Mr. Krabs over here about his money. So <laughs> oh shit. He does. Yeah, he. I don't think he would ever close for anything, which is okay. Like I didn't mind, but it's just who would I, drive you. That's classified information. Don't worry about it, <laughs> bro. I crashed. I'm just saying because you, so, do you, do you did you get your license already? No, nah, I still don't drive. Exposing. Oh my god, I'm just gonna put, throw myself under the bus. Yes, I don't drive. Okay, I don't fucking drive. <laughs> nah, but I would like Uber it's a simple and stuff. Test. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So, oh, so you wait? There was no Uber. That's no, cat. We're gonna ignore him for the rest of the video. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, there was Ubers, dude. I'm not even kidding. I were they heard. more expensive? No. Oh, I thought I would have nice figured they were like, okay, more expensive. I'm just gonna kick back in low snow. We gonna drive to work. Yeah, I yeah, know. It wasn't bad. I'm telling you, I crashed d- driving to During work. During the snow? Yeah, for real. You Dude, didn't nah. crash, you just don't know how to drive. Nah, bro. She do not know how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I know how to drive. I'm just like, all right. So, moving on. <laughs> what no. Up? no, yeah, but I still went to work. And, d- no, honestly, during that time, though, like, man, they. I'm a dedicated as employee. I was like the Honestly, only dude, on the Valentine's fuck? Day. I was the <laughs> only real. employee there, like the only waitress. And okay, then the, I made more money for I you. I don't even, dude. I don't even think. I'm trying to think. I think there was only like maybe one dancer that showed up. Like I don't even think there was dancers maybe on Valentine's Day. Like I was there. <laughs> yeah, there were still people there though. And then um. Oh hell no. Nah. I'm off on Mondays, so I wasn't there. And then I think I worked. Tuesday, mm-hmm. but I wasn't gonna go in because of the storm. But they told me to come in. And I went in like at three, and they I said, still and I still made money. Like it was pretty be- like busy, busy. busy. <laughs> so I was yeah. like, oh. wait, what was the clientele? Was it like old man or was it just like? I mean, honestly, the clientele there is pretty old man. Yeah, but it just like it varies. But like it varies from like mid thirties and like early forties. Okay. To like. <laughs> He gotta go. He's he halfway in the grave. Like he doesn't need oh, to be shit. here. You know, like yeah. It to, be, to be honest, the week after <laughs> uh, the week after the yeah. second stimulus check, I saw every strip club that I passed by. It was packed. Like oh packed, yeah, stimmies, right? bro. No, yeah. When the stimmies hit, dude, like because even after the blizzard, I feel like it was like kind of steady but not as good and then after those stimmies hit it was like, oh, okay, low key, I hate the stimulus so checks bro for like bucks. Like, mo- <laughs> like, mo- mo- like I don't know why I, I hate it that it, now everybody that got a stimulus check like everything you try to bet money on or like you're like oh, now yeah. I run the money or do that Did or like oh you got up? your stimulus check yeah. like yeah. bitch no I got my money but shit I've been about my money <laughs> <laughs> but it's so annoying when people say that shit like I'm like bro yeah. 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 yeah we're waiting on the next one shit man Shem- bro, yeah, I'm, I'm, they already wasted a lot of people already wasted yeah, it. Yeah, that being gone. a salesman like I don't know if you noticed this but like the beginning everybody was buying now everybody's like nah yeah. we're kind of stingy yeah. on their price and shit like wait yo I'm gonna say what did you do with your stimmy I still have my stimmy. Nice. Oh, that's my what you gotta soul. do, bro. You yeah. gotta rack up. I was nah, not, yeah, I saved my money. I was not Stack expecting up. that, Yohama said. So you're telling me oh. that you haven't spent a single dime? No, I have my stimmy, no. Shit, that's I have, good, yo. I mean, I have money saved, and I have, yeah. Ooh. Hey, man, that's good. Planning so, trips. <laughs> planning trips? Puerto Rico? Yeah, I want to go to Puerto Rico for my birthday. For real, me too. Why? Why? Because It's why Puerto, Puerto Rico. Your cousin's there right now, right? No, not even just that. I just kind of want to go, like... I don't know. I feel like you've never gone though, right? No, I've never gone to like Puerto Rico, but I feel like it's like a nice place to yeah. travel and venture out on. But For I don't real. know. It's just like my my sister, like it's her birthday, and then I have a friend who has the same birthday as Obviously. me. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> fucking twins. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, I have my twin sister, and then I have a, a friend who has the same birthday as us. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it, like why don't we just like? Well, she gave me the idea. She's like, why don't you want to go to Puerto Rico for our birthday? And I was like, yeah, like. A bunch of us. Let's have a girls trip. Yeah. Damn. So, Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. <laughs> yeah, Puerto Rico in October. October. Yeah, Is October. It, I think it's good weather in Puerto Rico, right? All around, all, all year I mean, round. It's pretty like tropical. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I mean, from Shit. what I've seen and Sneak like me heard. In. Sneak when, me in that whose birthday were planning to go and then we ended up going? I mean, just like coincidentally like be there at the same time. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, you were trying to go, right? Yeah, yeah. we're planning to go for his birthday. We ended up going to Cali. To go to mm-hmm. I mean, but I, like, I'm serious. I was like, yeah, Puerto Rico, my birthday. Let's go. Like, but when said, we're, I got money in the bank. Let's go. But when we're go. planning to go with Run him, it, it was kind of more complicated because it was during the ba- uh, pandemic and oh, there was yeah. like a bunch of rules and shit. You had to, you had to get a certain amount. Like I think only you had to get your 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 test like. 24 hours or 48 hours before yeah. you, we had it there. And that also, was just, they had a quarant- quarantine, not quarantine. They had a, um, how do you call it? A 
How do you call it? Whenever you can't go out at a certain time, uh, a curfew. Uh, oh, curfew. Yeah, a curfew. Uh, I had a curfew. A 10 p.m. curfew. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was bro. wrong. <laughs> For real. How are you going to pull up to Puerto Rico and that party at 12? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Damn, Shit. that's crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm going to ask my cousin, though, what it's like, because I feel like he's right there. He's bro, there right now. That so guy don't post see. anything. I know, but I'm gonna ask him when he, <laughs> oh, really? when he gets back. Like, I'm like, bro, ask I have him on social media, and but, but I don't even know where he was at. He low key, okay? He's yeah. low key. Yeah, that's how he is. He's low key, and that's how you gotta he'll be. He'll be yeah. living in the moment, and then he'll just what, yeah, what if, if he it'll, disappears? It'll, and we don't know where the fuck he's at. No, I'll find him. I always somehow, like somehow, always find him. We're like, bro, at least put your pinpoint or some shit. You track him? No, damn, bro. Your cousin is cool though. Everywhere we've pulled up with him, we actually, we actually just always run into him. Like, you, you good? You good? <laughs> <laughs> <She's> a, <laughs> where's my hater? <laughs> you know what it reminded me of? You know, you know the guy that you know the guy that uh, drinks the Hennessy, <laughs> the, oh, yeah. the little Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> Just the bottom, bro. Cut that shit! Cut that shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy choking on beer. Ah, fuck it. I'll get it. Like, looking, I'm making this worse. <laughs> looking like a motherfucking rookie. Pesky looking that. ass, bro. Shout out to that boy Papio. Shout out, shout out the gang. Bro, I, I used to make fun of me. I would call him Poppy, and, and then <laughs> <laughs> I, I call him. I, I call him that. I, I, I would say Juan, dude. <laughs> nah, I, say, I would be like Poppy. You can you say you say you say you say homosexual. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I say Poppy. You have a little too much. <laughs> like what a Poppy. <laughs> It's kind of oh, like see. like motherfuckers say like like Puerto Rican. Have you ever seen that video where it's like the with the cop? It's like, ¿Qué pasó, papi? Like, <laughs> like, like, don't call me that. Don't call me that shit again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, papi. I mean, Mr. Officer. <laughs> it's like that, bro. I'll, I'll you, put it up there. Where you say the homosexual. Papi. Papi. I'm going to make him choke, too. And all right, for real. I was real. like, do a bitch choke. <laughs> all right, so since you work at this strip club. Yes. I'm actually interested. So, what's the nastiest thing you, sh- you oh like the nastiest God. shit you've oh, seen shit. in a strip club? <laughs> the nastiest shit? Like I mean, just, honestly, um, I try not to. Because, look, I, I've heard that girls get desensitized, uh, desensitized, whatever you call it. I've seen some shit, but I always, yeah, like I try not to see. <laughs> honestly, like, I, it's just. I'm it's, on my business. It sucks though because, like, as a waitress, you kind of have to, like, make sure they're, like, if they don't eat shit, because then sometimes they'll be like, oh, like, where's she at, you know? Yeah. So, I, and I'm like, I'm a pretty good waitress, I'm not gonna lie. So, like, I try to, like, check up on them. But I, I kind of, like, learned as the I dancers. go now. Yeah, and the customers. Um, I kind of try to ask now, like, so, and how long do you want me to come back? Or do you even want me to come back at all? Because sometimes I'd be like, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, yeah, oh, 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 catching her do some shit. nasty shit. So I'm just like, no, I don't want to know. Damn. I think shit. we all know what she's talking about. Wait, yeah. is that in the privates or what? Yeah, or like when they anyway, get a, boy. No, when they, when they get a bottle. Not, bro, even on, like, when they get dances, sometimes I'd be like, I don't want to go over there. Damn. Oh shoot! I mean, yeah, we all know that. I mean, not that I I've been there, but like stories that stories that I've heard. That, that, I, I've read in books that they no, show honestly, I've, I've had coworkers that honestly they go a lot. So uh, I've they, heard stories. They, pretty much every 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 yeah, strip club in, in yeah, Texas, I, I know their prices. Bro, <laughs> bro did he that say shit almost came out of my nose. Bro, I just, bro he was thinking that's it. I don't go to strip clubs. But I don't. I just saying I have friends. I go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was like, all right. Okay. Get it right, man. You ever seen that trip though? I'm slipping, bro. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, that's wild though. Like, so you tell me bro. that they've had sex right in front whoa, of you. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Island, island. 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 That's what I understood. No, You're I mean, I don't, know. Sex I don't know about sex, but yeah. you know, S- a little quick sexual quick little favors. Yes, I, I mean, all that, man. That's interesting. I mean, they're not supposed to, but. I mean, it is what it is. I know, no. Yeah, and I ain't no sense. I'm just like, whatever. Like, I, I mean, just... at the end of the day, the customer's always right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying for me. I'm just saying for, like, oh my God. speaking from a like, customer like, service stuff again. Just keep going. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> you always know, ask the defender, so like, nah, not for me, though. Yeah. But it is true, though. Like, as, a, as an owner, you're not going to give a fuck if that shit's happening. Oh, hell no, I bro. mean, technically. I mean, they're supposed to, but. So how does that work? So the whole house thing, like, do the girls pay? A little bit to you gotta pay what's to the business? Yeah, okay. what's the business talk to me so, about that so um, basically like they have a house fee like they have to pay the cause they have a house mom and she basically oh. like if they need like hair products or like anything um 
hygiene products and stuff like that. Like they can get it from her. <laughs> the, the, the they, she spray, even ha- yeah, she even smell, has she has like perfume. The yeah, um, they all smell the same. She has like food for them and stuff too, and like she'll clean up after them. So they have to pay her like a certain. I don't know if they. I don't honestly. I'm not really sure about like the fees. Um, I don't know like if there's a certain percentage they have to pay her. Like they have to give her whatever they want. Mm-hmm. So you're telling but me they're like athletes. Yeah, kind they, of. They, they all have their uh, whoever the team agent. they're playing with is their their they got their their brands. The, you can only board that brand and other. Yeah, but they have to pay like the house mom. There's a house fee, and they have to pay the DJ. Oh that's shit! DJ? That's who they pay. Yeah, out. the dancers pay the DJ too. Cause I oh, mean, why the DJ though? He puts the songs. I mean, they request. he puts the songs, but I'm pretty sure he gets yeah. paid too. But they still have to give him like a certain amount. I don't know. So you're telling that. me that? Yo, fuck the DJ. So you they never be putting the songs we want. No, but they don't play good music there, so it's like whatever. They be putting country music. Oh, well, yeah, your strip club is kind of unique because they be putting country music. I've never been in a strip club, but actually, I still haven't gone okay, to. Well, it's like, I mean, you, I don't go. But have you seen them try to dance that shit? Like, I don't know how they dance to that. Like, like all. Fucking I mean, <laughs> I know how to dance country, but like, that's not bro, nothing sexual. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But it's like, how are you gonna like these men want to see that poop? Yeah. Like, you know? <laughs> right. Keep in mind that actually, yeah. me and Alex have gone to the strip club. Whoa, and whoa, whoa. Girl, bro, yeah, we don't even know he, he wants to be exposed, bro. Right. <laughs> no, no we, uh, Sam was there too. Went too. I just. <laughs> I was about to say we went to go visit yo. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're visiting yo, bro. And yeah, you've and never visited me, but they visited me. Yeah, yeah it, it was a pretty cool I don't go. night. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that like I don't know where, bro. I'm looking at the girls around, and I'm all like, bro, there's nothing but cowgirls. It was an yeah. interesting strip. Yeah. There was no poles either, right? No, no, no they don't poles. have poles because that's a liability. Oh yeah, fuck. that's a liability because girls can hurt themselves. <laughs> that bitch from 20 feet, bro. She's yeah, yeah, bro. Like, that I that ecstasy. Yeah. God, shit, man. This, like, this owner right here, he said, y'all ain't gonna catch my ass. <laughs> 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 no lawsuits, no lawsuits. Pulse. You have pulse? Yeah. I, 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 I just pulse feel like it makes it more in- entertaining. Yeah, yeah, you, you know? just like, oh, Especially shit, like, okay, you know they're playing It makes it harder, con- to be honest. Yeah, it makes it harder, but it's like, even though they're playing fucking country, you're gonna be like, oh, this, okay, like, she's doing something she interesting, doing? you know? Yeah, like, it's more entertaining. Dead ass. It blew my mind. Wait, so does this mean you know country music now? I know the songs because they're always playing. They literally play the same shit all the time. <laughs> Just say, I'm yeah. an expert now. I don't know how to dance country, but I know the songs. What? You know, you know them by name and all that? No. How, no. how am I going to know the name? It's not like he's well, announcing the To be honest, like when I would work at the restaurant, like they would put music I would never listen to, but you when, when they, I would it. hear it somewhere <laughs> outside where I worked, I was like, oh shit, I know the song. I mean, honestly, at first I kind of hated it, but now I'll be like catching myself like, okay, hey, hey, you know, <laughs> okay. good music. So yeah. Country music is lit, bro. Hex, I don't know yeah, why people be hating bro, on they it. they put me on country music, not gonna lie. I used to hate that I shit. I mean, y'all them, put me on to country music. I, honestly, yeah, it's just, they, I felt like this. a lot of them sang about the same stuff. So I was just like, man, it's just about a truck <laughs> and some horses, but hey. yeah. Yeah, it's always about love, horses, and beer and, and getting yeah, drunk. And, like, yeah, getting drunk, yeah. Some whiskey. That, that's I mean, that's pretty much, I mean, to be honest, that's every song, so like, damn. Oh, there's just different yeah. cultures, but it's always yeah. about that drinking, uh, falling in love, or breaking heart. Being real. Yep. Yep. Wait, so I heard that you can't pull up on the days that you don't work. Oh yeah, they don't let us be there when we're not working. That's Why? crazy. Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure, but honestly, I think it's because they probably think like since we're cool with like the employees, they they'll probably think that up. they're gonna try to hook us up, but like mm-hmm. they can't hook us up because they get in trouble and they get fired if they like pour too much or you guys like, have a, a big churning of girls <clears throat> like lots of girls getting fired and shit like in and not out not really fired but a lot of girls like don't last oh. like we literally are always hiring but a lot of the new girls just don't stick around Why? but I feel like it's honestly because they're probably not making as much money but like I learned because I'm mm. already there for a year it honestly you have to have the customers have to know you and you have to know the dancers because when they get bottles they get whatever waitress they want so, like, if they're cool with you, they're going to pick you. So, you need the customers to know you, the waitresses to know, I mean, the dancers to know you, and, like, mm. you know. So, it kind of depends. Like, you have to have, like. You got to know the logistics. You I mean, know it's like people. everything in life. It's, yeah, it's, like it's not what you know. You have to have the connections to yeah. make the money. It's not what you know, it's who you know. So, I feel exactly. like a lot of the girls, and then I feel like especially because, like, they're new, nobody, like, they might try to, like, some guys probably talk to them, <clears> but they don't have the same clientele as other people. And, like, honestly, a lot of the customers are really loyal. So, like, even if, like, they think you're nice or, like, cute, they'll, like, say they're hi. Like, right. But, like, if they have their go-to waitress, they're just gonna be like, no, I'm good. Like, I, I already have somebody getting me drinks or yeah. something, and they wait for the waitress <clears> to show up and give them That's interesting. So you gotta build your clientele yeah. even at the strip. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, at the strip, for sure. Because, I mean, especially because a lot of the customers, uh, where I work, especially, like, they're, like, year, like years. They've, They've been, been going, going for years. So, like, I feel like they've kind of, like, seen a bunch of girls. They know a bunch of girls. So, like, it just depends on, like... So, I just feel like everybody's really loyal, so... Damn, bro. And Dude. you know what's Damn. so crazy about all of this? 
the loyalty. Like my regular, I have a regular that goes visits me every Sunday. Like holy. Like honestly, at first I was weird about giving my phone number away, but if I genuinely like fuck with you, I give away my number and they'll text me like, "Hey, are you at work?" Um, who's at work or like they have a dancer so like honestly I feel like it's easier if you have like a dancer like they have a go-to dancer and they have you as a waitress and oh, it's like you're already set you know got him so yeah I give my number to my customers that I'm like really cool with and that won't make it fucking weird cause some of these guys are weird as fuck honestly I've had to block a lot of guys damn like, for real yeah cause so they seem nice why do you say weird though do you say because what's weird about they just them? kinda yeah. like are too harassing you you know oh. like yeah bitch I'm trying to fuck <laughs> like no or not even that like they just like don't get it or like they're just they try like they seem nice at first and you're like okay like oh you're yeah. nice whatever I don't mind but then like they kind of just like keep going or like like there's been guys that like blow up my phone like calling me texting me send me a picture like first they of just all get why weird. are you giving your phone out because it, it helps like okay like honestly it helps yeah to oh, get regulars okay. you know <laughs> I yeah, mean, I have regulars, yeah. but I never give my phone out. But it's different because they ask for me. They know. It's a server, though. And no, yeah, it's because you're it's different. She, she, she's a server too. Say, she just no. explained that right now. No, but yeah, it's different because you were a server in a restaurant, <laughs> and I'm a server at a strip club. So like, it's because guys, you know, like it's kind of like they don't really. They kind of if you they fuck with you, they go according to your schedule. Nice. So like they text you like, oh, are you at work today? You know, because like you like for me, I have a set schedule. Honestly, like sure usually I work the that. same days. Yeah, like I work the same days you usually during the week. But some of them just if they if they strictly fuck with you, they want to know when you're available. Because you know, like I might have a set yeah. schedule, but there might be a week where I have to do something, so I'll get a different day off and I'll switch it for another day. You know, so they just like to keep up with you and know when you're gonna be there. So they text me and like. But yeah, some of them have been weird as fuck. I don't know, I can never do that shit, bro. (laughs) The longest regular? I have a few. I feel like I've had some regulars. Like since you started? Since I started. Maybe like, maybe like. Shout out to them. Yeah, shout out to my regulars. Shout out to them. No, honestly, like. For real. Some of them have been with me probably. One of them has been my regular, and I met him, like, the second day I worked there. Damn. Yeah, and then, like, another one, I met him, I think. I love at first sight. I probably became his friend, like. Maybe in December, like the latest, but I'm pretty sure it was like might have been earlier than that. I just don't really remember. But he's been like visiting me like ever since. That's yeah. still a long time, man. Are, are you supposed to have like a little relationship with them most of the time? With the dancers? Or, yeah, with the dancers. I mean, it, it's I like I, I was saying earlier, um, it kind of helps if you have a uh, friendship with them because they're the ones who get the bottles. They're the ones who get the rooms. You know, like they're the main course, and we're kind of like the side. Y'all good, y'all yeah, good. like we help them out. Yeah, so if you're cool She's with the, the dancers, appetizer, and then their main meal. Yeah. So, I, I no, it. I mean it. No, but it kind of depends because honestly, no, no, you appetizer, bro. No, there's no <laughs> honestly, no. Like sometimes the guys, there's guys that will tell you, like honestly, I don't even fuck with the dancers. I only come okay. for the waitresses. Like there's some guys. Yeah, I know. Shout out to homegirl, uh, one of our home friends too. I wouldn't even go to. to no, actually, I don't even go to strip club. <laughs> man, you're getting yourself caught up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Anyways, no, there's honestly guys that have told us like. I don't even come for the dancers. I just kind of like cool talk to, to kick it with drink with my friends, the that waitresses. You that's know, that's actually me. So it just kind of depends. <laughs> there's some, no, 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 no honestly, is. there's some guys that just go to like Boy. mainly the dancers, but there's guys that just like yeah. don't even get like they will dead ass like the dancer will come up to them and be like, nah, I'm good, and then you'll be like, why didn't you go with her? Like she was cute or whatever. Yeah. So and they'll be like, nah. For me, it's a little bit different because I actually used to live with strippers, so I'm literally like, nah, bro. I, well, you actually live with them too, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nah, I don't. So I don't know with I can't pull up to a strip club and. And say you know what I want that girl choose that girl how I've seen with other people I'm just here chilling with the with the server yeah. it's it's pretty chill cause yeah to be honest that's why when we go to strip clubs it's like uh, like uh, to be honest I'll be in face of, of it sometimes I'm just on my phone to be honest <clears throat> no but honestly yeah. it's kind of weird cause some of the guys will start to blur the lines between like friendship or like I was gonna ask you that they start no it's really weird honestly cause um some of them kind of start getting really attached and like they start to like fall in love and it's like dude damn so you, you know like yeah it's hard it's kind of it gets complicated at a certain point like I can see how your personality will be making these motherfuckers yeah. fall in love with you especially those motherfuckers that go every fucking week dude, it's just, like, yeah no it's hard like some of them will literally get jealous and be like like they make jokes about it but you know like they're being serious and they'll be like, they'll be like who be that talk- <laughs> yeah like you'll be talking to him way too much like don't make me jealous and you're just kind of like what? what like they, we're they, they say jokingly like, but they say yeah, jokingly no, like, but 
they that say jokingly, it jokingly, but yeah. you like know deep down they kind of like probably mean it. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Been like, you know, I won't if you keep tipping, bro. Come like, on, I think, man. No, because some of them, no, yeah, honestly, some of them say she that though. They'll be like, right. I know this is a fantasy, but then I feel like they start to blur the line between like fantasy and reality. Oh, yeah. Which is weird because honestly, though, I wouldn't think on my part, I don't think it's fantasy because I feel like I'm just really genuine and it's like if I really like value you as a friend, even if it's at my fucking job, like you're my friend, you know, someone fuck with you and I'm gonna ride with you, but like, yeah, some of, kind them, of pass. some of them kind of try to get past that line. And I'm like, dude, like, you're my friend. Like, we're your friends. Yeah. You can't do that. And it's just, it's hard. I, I see what you mean. And knowing you for, like, at least see three that. years, two years, right? Yeah. I, I can see why you I think it's been more than that. Right? Yeah, it's been, yeah, Ooh, low key. For real, four years. <laughs> yeah, like, four or five years, maybe. <laughs> like, God, yeah, we've been friends. You've known these fools more. Yeah, but I only knew them, like... Maybe, yeah, like, maybe, no, maybe, I think maybe, like, the most a year before him. Because, oh, yeah, yeah, y'all kind of, yeah, I don't know. Y'all met Alan. But anyways, what I'm trying to say, though, is that, like, I can see why motherfuckers would, you know, try to like you and then fall in love with you. Yeah. And then, like, you're out there like, oh, I'm just be myself. But it's just hard because <laughs> I feel bad. I'm like, no, like, don't fall on me. That's not what it's about. But yeah, it's like, it's hard. It's hard. Damn, yeah. that sucks. Okay, so going back to the strip club, I know that there's a lot of girls that would have OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. Why do you think they have that shit? I mean, it's your free money, bro. Yeah, it's like it's, and it's quick and Especially easy with money. Regulars, bro? No, honestly, I feel like the sex industry is always gonna be booming. Like it kind of sounds ugly. It's never gonna him. stop. It's, it's never, never gonna, gonna stop. stop. Honestly, there's always some horny motherfucker out there who's Damn. trying to like get They'll off. Pay. Yeah, They'll and pay. no, honestly, guys, like literally, the strip club is a prime example of how the sex industry is always gonna be booming. And like, guys, don't give a fuck, and they're yeah. gonna pay top dollar just to see like their favorite go-to girls. Like, ooh. to be honest, I would always think prostitution should be legal. Yeah, I mean it's legal it should, in honestly. fucking LA. I mean not LA, LA, LA I'm Amsterdam, sorry, Las Vegas, Las Vegas. Uh, Las Vegas prostitution. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, my boy's been to Vegas a lot of times. Yeah, he yeah, should yeah, know. There's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of shady business out there. That That's true, too. But, yeah. but yeah, I mean, it should be legal, to be honest. It's like, if the girl I mean, is... Everybody is, does that shit. I mean, every, everything is con with, uh, with consent, so... At the end of the day, that's what we care I mean, about. You can't get more consent than literally business. <laughs> yeah. real, bro. No, honestly, yeah. I don't know. I feel like shit like that weirds me out, but at the end of the day, like, it is what it is. Like, I mean, that's how yeah, shit not is. everybody that's should do it, but go. like, whoever wants to do it, yeah, then it's, it's like, like, it's, it's a, up to them at the end of the day, so. But you would never be a, a dancer. Okay, so <laughs> it's funny because everybody always, like, I'm telling you, like, they literally start to build a connection. They bond with you. They fuck with you. And so there's a lot of guys always like, so, like, why aren't you up there dancing? Like, when am I going to see you up there oh, dancing? Bro, they're just trying to see you naked, No, probably. yeah, they're just trying to see my shit. They're like, oh, I'll be the shot. No, honestly, I don't think I would be a dancer, like, ever. Why? Because I'm not comfortable. I just... Mm. Bro, honestly, even as a, as a waitress, sometimes some guys try to kind of test the limit and see how far they can go with you. Yeah. And I honestly get weird. Like, I feel uncomfortable. Like, I don't know how to react because it's just like weird as fuck like I just don't like random ass guys who I don't know touching me or like touching up on me that's pretty wild or trying to feel like, up on me so like these girls are like only the regular 18, that, right? 19 and just naked Dude, walking yes, around and like and honestly nothing. like a lot of people can say whatever they want about dancers but I have a lot of respect for dancers because like I know personally I would not be okay with that and I can't do that <laughs> to myself around. yeah I like walking around and just have these guys like have their fucking hands all up on my body and like I don't know yeah. you know like so it kind of takes a lot of mental strength and how much is a dance probably 25 it's 20 20 dollars a dance yeah so but like, like per song so it just depends I get but. that the more motherfuckers <laughs> that you know you catch a dance with yeah. you know the more money but like mm -hmm. $20 a song, right? Yeah, $20 a song, but it's just, I don't know. Some guys are just gross. Like, they'll be like, oh, like, how much, how far couldn't I go with this much money? And you're like, uh, no. Like, you know? <laughs> yeah. And like, some of them honestly are rude as fuck. Like, recently this week, um, I barely met this guy. And he's gotten there twice already. But, like, some of them just can't take, like, no for an answer. Like, you know, like, even if you tell them, because, like, they always, all, honestly, a lot of them say the same shit. And they'll be like, oh, I'm only going to go as far as you let me. And, like, some guys will literally will, like, draw the line and be like, no, like, don't do this shit. And they still try to, like, be smart and, like, funny with it. And it's just like, no. Damn. Like, it just takes a lot. You have to tolerate a lot, honestly. Do you think a lot of girls that get all that money, because, I mean, obviously, money's good there. Um, do they, Is it as, as soon as they come in, it goes out of their pocket? Or... Do they save it? I mean, honestly, I feel like... Or just at least it's personal for me personally. Because uh, I see I see motherfuckers that, are, I mean, girls that are up there, like, earning money and then out of nowhere, they're just buying Gucci, Louis, nothing. Like, I get it, but, like... I mean, I feel like it kind of does go to their head, you know? Like, like not, I'll just get it Not even, like, week. just materialistic, yeah. but, like, certain um situations. Like, honestly, like, recently there was this situation... 
Or this one dancer was kind of like, I don't know any of the waitresses' names. Like, they're just waitresses to me. You know, so I feel like oh. it kind of starts getting to their head and they just kind of like, it builds on, it fits on their ego, you know? So they kind of just start to think like, some, not all of them, because there's some that are like, gen, like really nice, like people, but some of them, I feel like it, they definitely start to like, think they're better than you just because they're mm. dancers and they make more money. But it's like, no, we're all people. Like, you know, we're all I here to you. help each other out. So like, bitch, you better get off that pedestal because that shit can get kicked and you'll fall the fuck down. You know, like real quick. So Have you expanded your portfolio and investments? My portfolio and investments? Yeah. No, not really. I haven't invested in shit, but you know, investing I mean, in myself. You should get into it though. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I really do though. Like I know like Alex, mm. like you've been investing in like the stocks yeah. and stuff like that. But I just feel like I personally don't really know that much. So I probably would need like your help or like stuff like that. For but sure. I thought about it, but I feel like I'm kinda like Castillo kinda Finance, still, like, if you ever need uh, any yeah, help. Yeah, Castillo Finance. Eh, hit him up. Sure. But I feel like I'm kinda just like I don't know, I guess waiting. I feel like there's there's a certain type of like top girls that always do that shit. Like they'll they'll make good ass fucking money and then they'll take it to freaking stocks or real estate. And like those are the like you know like the, the girls that stand out are the, or the, are just in there exactly. for the for the money and the, then get the make quick, it out. Quick cash. But I mean those 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 girls have to have uh, be out of the hood mentality where it's yeah. just like get money and waste it on dumb yeah. shit. I mean or, I think I would just want like me personally I just want to be more educated before I jump into some shit. You know like I just don't want to oh, yeah. be like thinking I'm like oh, yeah, oh for sure, like yeah. I'm what the done. fuck do I do? yeah no I don't want to be like well, confused or I don't want to like jump into it and be like oh shit I really don't know I just but I feel yeah. like that's just me personally like I just like to know what the fuck I'm getting into before I get into anybody you got to know what the hell you do. Yeah. yeah, you feel comfortable. But, but she's actually hitting a point where, like, she doesn't know. Why doesn't she know? That's what the question we should be asking. Well, that's the that's what we always been talking about. Yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, I feel like, like, yeah, I no, there's to nobody. Get a little bit more educated there's nobody that it, we know? look up to, or like social media, and nobody in social media be telling you about investment and stuff. I mean, Unless you follow just... a page where it told, shows you about investment, then yeah. But nobody popular like that's okay. But what, what's it. all they okay. offer? It's, I mean, it's like the, but everybody can just trans off like the basic stuff, like makeup or like music or like you know. So I feel like nobody is like really like popping because of investment and stuff. So we don't. I feel like a lot of people just focus on like. The big, like the big topics yeah. and stuff. And well, they there's really, a lot you know? of people. It's just that you have to get into it to yeah, know those people. Yeah, you have to want to be into that too. Well, like, yeah. Let's uh, let's get it from a girl's perspective. Mm -hmm. Why don't you know? I never got her interest. Yeah, probably, I mean, right? I probably just wasn't really about. And uh, this is a theory that I was talking with Caesar about last time. I was like, I feel like they kind of make it seem like just in the world in general, they make it they make it seem like. Girls have to waste their money. Like you have to buy this, have Shopping to buy that, and yeah, uh, and it, it's kind of, you know, you put that in their head, and it's just like, oh yeah, money comes in, money goes out. You know, yeah. I have to get the the newest shoes, the newest makeup, I have to do this for my hair, I have to do all this and that, and like. I mean, honestly, though, and well, being real, being a girl is expensive. So well, like, were, were, you, expensive were you telling me that like uh, companies or like at least like cosmopolitan magazines, they yeah. they pretty much put all that into the head or oh, yeah, keeping? They sell these girls the dream of like. You know, your career is everything and this and that. And then, you know, they look back on it. And they're like, bro, I've, I've been fucking loyal to this company for years and I don't have shit to bro, show for. Companies don't give a fuck about nobody. But and then, yeah. you said it right now, too, that being a girl is expensive. <laughs> I didn't know that those eyelashes every two weeks, sixty five dollars. Yeah. Like, if, like, you have, what? if you have eyelashes, it just depends. Boy. And like, if you want to get your nails done, pedicures, facials, waxing. Hair products, you know, it's like a lot. And I feel like it's it's easier for the the people, you know, the, at the top to keep, you know, lots of people or, and even girls as consumers mm -hmm. instead of investors because that keeps the money churning. Mm -hmm. So, oh, yeah. you know, it makes it easier. I don't know. I maybe. mean, and that's what that's that's where you get to the point. That's why there's no pushing in investment oh, yeah. or anything like that. Why would you want to? If, if yeah. you I mean, but here's the thing: though. have people buy your shit. I'm old fashioned though. Like, I much rather let her do whatever the fuck she wants. Like and let me take care of the bills. Honestly, you I hear that single think ladies, <laughs> Alan. So, bro, that's why they're so toxic. You hear that, bro. It's an old fashioned bro, man. That's why they're so toxic. No, but the I was, moment you ain't gotta work, baby. I, I Wait, so you say saying though, your honestly, exes are toxic? I was like, you see their shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the guest here. <laughs> no, I, no, I was gonna say because y'all are talking about like that shot? topic. No, I'm not shy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I feel like it's because. Because you are talking about, like, why don't girls get into that? Yeah. I feel like maybe it's because nowadays a lot of girls are kind of more into, like, that superficial stereotype or, like, idea that, like, oh, like, I want a guy who's got money and he's going to provide for me type shit, you know? So I feel like maybe they just, like, don't really think about making it for themselves or making it on their own. And they're kind of like, oh, well, why am I going to be interested in that or look into that if I have, I'm going to have a guy who's going to have money and he's going to provide for me, you know? Yeah. 
I don't know. Like, I get it. Like, that's how the world is nowadays. Like, a lot of girls have sugar daddies or, like, they just try to, like, marry into a rich family. But me, personally, like, I don't... I don't know. It's weird. Like, I, I personally don't feel comfortable just, like, depending on, like, somebody to, like, make it for me. Like, I want to make it for myself. And, like, if I have to struggle, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm gonna, I'm, somehow I'm going to figure it out on my own, you know? Yeah. So I feel like maybe that's also why girls kind of don't really look into, like, investing or, like coming out of shit on their own because they just think they're going to find some guy that's going to pay for yeah, them. Yeah, but that, that percentage them. of guys that are out there that can can do can that or can that. afford that, it's, it's, it's very small. limited. It's, it's but very I feel limited. Like, but I feel like girls kind of see that shit too, like, you know, because we're exposed to social media and, like, we know everything. There's a lot of girls out there that are doing OnlyFans. They have fucking sugar daddies. Like, there's yeah. a lot of girls with sugar daddies nowadays. Like, if you see, like, if you honestly talk to them and they're willing to talk about it, there's a lot of girls with sugar daddies. So I feel like they kind of... I don't know, I'm telling you, it's a but superficial you know idea. They I, just, like yeah. you said, why the fuck would I want to Yeah, like, why do I want to do that? Like, I have somebody who's going to give yeah. me that shit right away, so why the fuck would but I, you, you know? You got to keep in mind, it only goes so far. Yeah, like, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, like sugar daddy's only you know, up to... Sugar girls, daddy's going to replace but that. But honestly, like, you don't, you think about Unless it, it would go so wrinkle. far. But there's some girls that literally kind of close themselves off in a box, and, like, that's all they know. Yeah. And, like, it's hard to say, because, like, okay, like, back... This kind of relates to, like, the strip club life. There's certain waitresses or, like, dancers that literally thought they were going to be there for a little bit. And then they end up, like, working there, like, their whole life for, like, 10 years, 15 years. So I feel like they think it's one thing, and then they close themselves off into this little world that they, like, that's all they know. So then since they close themselves off, that's all they know, and that's all they're ever going to know, and they don't move forward past it. Yeah, but the thing with sugar daddy is, like, of course, you know, I don't fucking know. But uh, I would would think, like, you know, once this bitch hits, like, 35, 36, 40, like, she's just like, hey, man, bitch. But I, I want another twenty five year old type shit. So. Sometimes no, I feel like they. But also they can. They, they end up getting sure. too greedy. There's yeah. such a thing as getting too greedy, and they think oh, yeah. they can keep milking it and like doing it, and then they just get stuck there. You know. Yeah. So I feel like that's it's what happens. For the, for the sugar daddies. Yeah, like sugar daddies, or as far as like having like a rich husband, like you know, I feel like they just kind of like I don't know what happens. No, she's talking about the girls. The milk sugar it, right? babies. They or milk the sugar it. daddies. For the sugar daddy. I mean, the sugar sugar babies. My bad. Yeah, yeah they okay. milk it. They thinking they're they gonna. Think they can keep milking it to like a certain amount, but they don't, and then like. They don't realize like okay. fuck. They have competition. There's so many girls yeah, that are winning. Everybody's that. replaceable, honestly, yeah. to them. Yeah, I mean, like they don't honestly, give a fuck. Like, if it's I, not genuine. If I wasn't the that uh, sugar daddy's shoes, bro, yeah, he said himself, bro. I'm I'm fifty and this this bitch thirty six. Bro, I'm there's a 21 year old, 25 year old. <laughs> who's next? <laughs> yeah, next. I mean that's how it is. That's how that's what we talk about. Uh, this yeah. this YouTuber Kevin Samuels, where he always talks about girls or like girls that go on his live and stuff about how they expect the top top ten percent man. Yeah, and they're they're not even top ten percent women. Yeah. So it's they want like a motherfucker that you know pays for their their uh, bills. You know, takes care of them. And this bitch like you know forty with I mean, three kids. I mean, if you're and honest, shit, still like, like a lot of girls kind of. When it's like that, I feel like it's because they can't really, they don't have much to, like, they can't really, like, offer much, That's you a know? Good point. So That's I feel a like a lot of girls, they, they try to follow that, like, that stereotype or, like, they try to follow the same trend. But it's like, when you look deep down, like, you have to have something to offer. If you don't got shit to offer, you're replaceable just like the rest yeah. of them. Like, they can find another one like you like this. So it's like, why, what do you think makes you so special, you know? So I, I don't know. I, and I feel like that's kind of where they fuck up, too, because they focus so much on, like, that stuff, and then they don't mm-hmm. focus enough on, like, Work yourself, grow, like build yourself. And you're coming you know? from a pretty cool perspective. You when when, when was your first boyfriend? When I was twenty two. <laughs> twenty two. Yeah. Check that out. Who has a fir- their first boyfriend at age twenty two? Yeah, that was my first boyfriend. <laughs> Shout out to him. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to him. You're a real one. <laughs> yeah. uh, you think you think you can have a relationship working at a strip club, oh, uh, regardless no. if you're Honestly, a waitress or? A, yes, I think you can. I think it's just waitress depends is on, fine. Like, no, waitress, but, yeah. No, but I think it depends on like the trust and like if you know your person, you're gonna know like how they yeah. are. Like you know, like, even as a stripper. No, I don't know about this stripper though, because like it depends. I feel like yes, you can because I am telling you, I know some strippers who are very just like, like it depends. Like I feel like you kind of can build like your persona or like who you want to yeah. be, you know. So it's like if you're really going to be strict about like I don't do this, this and this, the like, guys are even if like they want to do more, if they really fuck with you, they're gonna know and be like, okay, so I can't do this, That's you know. Tough, yeah. So it kind of depends it because honestly, it's true what they say. Like you set the guidelines for it. So I feel like. If you know your partner and if you know how they are and if you truly like trust in them, you can 
have that trust. It just depends on like if you know that bitch is gonna fuck up. Like, right. Don't you trust talking about a waitress? No, 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 because honestly, no, hold on, hold on, because look, I'm saying Wait, that. Wait, you're talking about a waitress or a stripper? No, both. Uh, doesn't matter. Right. She's a waitress. To be honest, with me is uh, like waitress. I could get it because you can put a certain limit, but a stripper, hell no, nah, yes, you cannot. Yes, you can. Put, no, because I know. Cannot, I'm telling bro, you because you I know cannot. a dancer that works so there that doesn't let them do shit to her. But it's you like, still give okay, a like, okay, for example, in the reverse, okay, but bitch, like he doesn't have to touch you. Like some girls literally will stand in front of him. Like you can't. Oh touch. yeah, well your strip club is different. Yeah, of course. What if it was flip? Would you date? A no, male okay, porn no, star? no. Some guy. Hold on. No, I don't know about. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I don't know about a porn star. But it's like for, with that scenario. Like there's yeah. been guys who have asked me like, what if your boyfriend likes to go to strip clubs? Do you care? Oh, and okay. I was like, honestly, I don't. I because I really don't give a fuck. Like you can do whatever. You say that you now, want. but then when you're in a relationship, no, no, that's like honestly, that's no. Facts, I've been bro. with guys. I not only had like one boyfriend or whatever, but I've never checked that guy's phone ever. Like who a guy that I've been with, like regardless if he's my boyfriend or anything, I've never checked their phone. Because I don't I just feel like I don't, why would I have to check your phone? I know you don't have to check my phone, so I'm not gonna check your phone. I feel like well, that's guys, different. I feel like guys are more emotional to the point where they won't be able to handle the, dating no, a girl. Honestly, yeah. That's so, in the strip like club. guys I just feel like y'all don't have guys are Don't say to, y'all, please. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's because y'all guys, you know. No, I'm just playing. Yeah, good. No, not all, but most. No, okay. Honestly, so I feel most. like guys are supposed to be like super strong and whatever, but I feel like, in my personal opinion, I think guys are honestly more sensitive than girls. Yeah, when it comes to stuff. I, with their I ego. No, yeah. certain stuff. Like yeah, because y'all have a, your ego gets yeah. in the way of a lot of stuff. So I feel like y'all can't see past your ego. So I feel like guys are kind of not as mentally strong as girls because I feel like we mm-hmm. kind of don't really have to deal with that as For much. Real. So we can kind of see past it and kind of like be more understanding and like you know. So I feel like y'all can't y'all kind of have a trouble like or yeah. like an and issue like bank off detaching. Of, yeah. Piggyback bank off of you. I mean, girls have to physically mentally say, you know what, this motherfucker gonna touch me, but you know what, run it. Yeah. But I, I feel like that's how the guys are built that. Way as in we're yeah, territorial, we're yeah, territorial. Like you know, if that's you have a girl, it's like, bitch, you ain't touch, <laughs> touching my girl. Fuck around with you, motherfucker. Like that's what I'm saying. That's why yeah. a, stri- a stripper, like if a guy's letting the stripper be, I'm I'm pretty sure he's 100 percent he's cheating on her or he has a side bitch. So you like, wouldn't oh, you yeah. wouldn't date a stripper or, or a server. If it was like a straight up like it's just oh, me oh, and her, again, if it's just me and her, it nah. would be an open fuck relationship. It. If it be, you know, yeah, if it's a stripper, it's an open relationship. Fuck that. I'm bro. fucking anybody else who I want. It would be a straight so up. You would be. A, it would be an open relationship. Yeah, with the stripper. Yeah. Open relationship. Fuck that. Well, like I, I would like never be loyal to a stripper. Honestly, it is harder though because some guys yeah. are not willing to pay you as much if you're not willing to do more stuff. You know. Yeah, and I mean, that's why I would that's, never be an answer that's what too. I'm saying. Yeah, that's I don't what I'm saying. Put like, myself in that situation. like, yeah, you're putting yourself money, into that situation. No, honestly, because, yeah, because I like you can say as much as you want, but it's like when you're there and they offer you a certain amount, yeah, there's the honestly right there, there is limits to everything. So you might be like, oh, shit, that's sounding kind of nice right now, shit. you know, so you might break, honestly. Like, it's, no it's, it's in, I, that's what I'm saying. Good. I feel like working there, people <laughs> don't really think about it, but you kind of do have to have like a strong mentality to work at a strip club. I think, honestly, before I used to think maybe I could, but then living again, living with strippers that should change my mentality just like hell nah fuck <laughs> this like I've seen strippers come in come out of the apartment I would be okay with dating someone that worked at a strip club though Loyal, working like, again you working. said waitress Wait, no waitress or dancer I would yeah. be okay with it I mean it just depends I, yeah, I call it cat I would no, knowing your ass I call it nah, cat here's the thing though <laughs> bro if if you want to put it in the guy's perspective, bro, I'm going to pimp her out, bro. Bring that money oh back. Oh, my God. Come over yeah, here. but then again, that's what I'm saying. I knew there was something to it. Saying. I I like, okay. But that's okay. what I'm saying. That's, you're, that's the only like, girl you're going to be with? But no, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. So in the guy's perspective, how we think, I'm going to be like, yeah, bring that bring that, uh, bring that, that ass back over here. What if she's like, no, this cash. is my money. I, I no, 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 no. In the guy's perspective, but in a relationship perspective, I'm going to be like, you know what? Yeah, you made that cash. Go for it. What did you do? I <laughs> bet. <laughs> Yo, you uh, can't. Bro, bro. Look, here's, I, don't, I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck yeah. what you do to an extent. Just be honest, straight up. Like, Little finger did, bang, you good. Yeah, yeah, bro. What, what happened? <laughs> okay, cool. How much money did he give you? 600? That other person oh, gave you 3,000. 3, you slacking. You, you doing dumb shit. That's what I would say, to be honest. Yeah, so but we're not talking about the money, and we're talking I, I, I'll, about. I'll talk about the money. So you'll be able you, to live you, with you yourself. No, honestly, though, I feel like the money does pay a uh, play a little Hell factor yeah, in if, it. If you're you know? realistic, bro, would you deny 
someone well, like, example, if you're, if you're, dollars, if you're making example, money yourself like, y'all nah, y'all really 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 living it. together you're our roommate so at the end of the day she's still yeah. securing the bag for both of y'all because y'all live exactly. together you know? so I feel like it does, like you want to see the but money but when you don't go, need the bag then what's the point I know but yeah. I'm trying but like you're, I, saying, I'm not, you're seeing it from like a different thing I think mm-hmm. it's like when he's saying like if it comes down to it like if that's what you're gonna see it from you know like it kind of does matter to them so you better couldn't be loyal to her I see his point that's what I'm saying the whole point I get your point but would you be loyal to her that's what we said that's literally what we said we can we can still be with the stripper, but, but it has to be open. I would be loyal to her. Hey, I, nah, I, I would be loyal to her. You gotta think about it this believe way, bro. Guys. I, really bro believe I, believe I believe him. I believe him. You gotta think about it this way. Okay, you want to. The first thing that you gotta have, no matter how poor or how uh, much money you have. Honestly, I, I hate to say it, but like the the less loyal, I mean, the less honest people are gonna be the ones that are more more rich, right? Me being broke as fuck one day and me having money, you know, it's the same motherfucker. But what I'm saying is that, like, bro, if you can tell me straight up, like, this is what you did. And this is how much that gave you. Hey, run it straight up. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Hey, man, you know, there's going to be guys that that are like Alan. But personally, my personal opinion, I that's, 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 yeah. to me, that's the same mentality. I, I, nah, bro, because I, I could pay that girl. Nah, three times there's a that difference between for... being a simp and like, like simp is dead ass. Like, whatever you want, mama. Exactly. Like, you can do what. No, no. Your regulars. No. Your regulars. <laughs> <laughs> I could pay three. That, I she could didn't pay, say that. I said, bro, I could pay <laughs> three times the shit. amount of money that that motherfucker paid to you know do that shit with the girl. But like at the end so of the day, so then why would you let her do that if you but can at pay the end her? Of the day I get that shit for free. Oh my god! If I knew, like, bro, if I knew that that was like his girl I, or something, I'd be like. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, you know, come give me a lap dance like, over so I can yeah, see yeah. this. But that's the thing. Would you like, let me get it? Would you? Would you let your stripper no, give me a lap dance? No, that, that's she's the getting thing. the money, bro. Oh, no, no, she getting that, the money. What if I pay her? Getting too messy at this point. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> where, that's where you get too messy. Where it's not only territorial. Yeah, it's too no, territorial. No. Like, hey, wait, hold up, <laughs> hold up, hold up. You can't, you can't get a lap dance. But you just said any motherfucker. No, ignorance is bliss. You also gotta. Oh my god. You also gotta draw the lines though. Not. Necessarily with the girl too, but with your yeah. motherfuckers, like your you. homies. Yeah. 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 Okay, I get it. So now with your ass friends, if y'all go exactly. get that from his girl. Hey so, man, we can't. She's a stripper. <laughs> I get it. Hey, I get but it. that's his girl. Like, like what if she's a, a, a server, bro? We over there. We're not okay, a tipper. Like, but there's yeah. a difference between being a server and being a dancer because a dancer's literally like they sit on your lap and shit. Like, it's yeah. a difference. Well, that's their job. What the heck? <laughs> exactly, but if you're a real ass friend, you're not gonna fuck Waitress with your homies. Waitress do too. I don't sit on their laps. <laughs> well, the ones that, I mean, look, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, hold up. Hey, he's getting his I mean, I've seen, I've seen it. And, and, yeah, okay. <laughs> he's never been to a look, strip club, I get guys. It. It's not a perfect world, but to an extent, if you, hey, you, if you that he, motherfucker, hey, next you time he lies it. about going to the strip club, this motherfucker gotta take a shower or something because I'm tired of him lying. I don't lie, though. Oh my god, that was a lie. Hey, get him a bottle. Get him a bottle. What were you saying, though? I, I was saying, like, I, I get it. It's not a perfect world, but in a perfect world, you would do your best. And honestly, bro, like, it it's sounds simple come a saying way. it right now, nah, Alan, but it, it, I, I call it cap. Man, I, I feel like there's guys like Alan that would be like fine with it. Yeah, no, there are guys. There's are. even guys that like their their girl is the one that makes all the money. Yeah, but those just, like, guys, chilling. those guys, what do you see them as? So you don't see them as alphas. You don't see them as alphas. You see them as yeah. Exactly. So what you're saying, you're a simp? Nah, I would make more money than a girl. 100% guarantee. Then you're making that money. What if she made more? I, I wouldn't allow, allow that. 100%. <laughs> no, like... You wouldn't that, allow it somehow. Like, <laughs> bitch, you gotta do less dancers. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your stats down. Bring your stats down. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about the girl. I'm talking about myself. Like, yeah. if I see someone in their grind and they're doing that shit, I hate it how fucking girls have it so easy, to be honest. <laughs> but, like... Nah, for real. Like, they do in, have it in, in, that's a, in that situation. When it comes to money, no, young girls, yeah. In certain young girls, young girls, it's young girls. girls. It's young just, girls yeah. I feel like y'all, y'all see it from like the luxuries of it, but y'all don't see it from the hard shit. Okay. Yeah, where you have to go okay. through to get that money. For yeah, example, I get it. yes, because I'm telling you, dude, like it's like just what I told you about giving out your number. Like yeah. we have the luxury because they want to fuck with you, but at the same time, yeah. then they end up harassing but you. Who and does like, the who does the harder jobs? A guy, a guy or a girl? Who does the plumbing? Who does the the fucking this and that. Like, I mean, that's true though. I we mean, have physical. Fuck y'all. That's why I know how to jobs. fucking use a hammer and shit. I ain't gonna depend on nobody. <laughs> I have myself. You do your own plumbing. <laughs> I probably could if I wanted to. <laughs> but do you? No, I'm gonna dead ass like learn how to like switch my own tire and shit because I don't want nobody helping me. Okay. Ooh. Like I don't want to, and also because like that's first thing. of all, you don't even know how to drive. Okay, well when I know <laughs> when, when I learn how to drive, at the same time like like it's for example uh, like if you as a girl like it's just dangerous out there. So like if I oh, yeah. get a flat tire, I don't want to like some random guy trying to help me pull my tire like no. Bitch, I got it. I'm gonna learn how to like do it basics. myself. Yeah, so it's like it's different, you know. But yeah. that's what I mean by I wouldn't allow it because <laughs> oh, <laughs> you say, bro, we over it. We're still going with it. 
I'm you gonna gonna physically it. have more, you know, jobs, yeah. physically demanding jobs. I wouldn't I'm allow like, that. Oh. Bro, strippers make money, bro. You either have to be oh, a, yeah. a billionaire or a millionaire, though. Easy. Not actually, I mean, to be making more money than her, yes. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, hey, bro. That little hub does still do everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess. I, I, I I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna open my strip club, bro. Hey. I'm gonna pimp her out. <laughs> Eventually, there's gonna come a girl around and you're gonna cheat on her, bro. Nah, I bro, might. we don't cheat here. Guys, can we just not? <laughs> like, just stop exposing <laughs> I mean, cheating is okay if you make money. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good Cheating question. Cheating is okay. We just make money. I'm like, you make money, money, money yeah. if you're rich, yeah. Oh my God. You don't expect to be with a rich motherfucker and expect you, them to be I mean, loyal. You, you see Beyonce saying Jay Z, she ain't leave. <laughs> hey, power couples, regardless, they all have the. I mean, look at Will Smith and, and Jada, bro. <laughs> she and cheated. Like, she cheated. Uh, they're supposed to be the power couple, but look at that. Like, the, what's your uh, perspective on that? Cheating. On cheating. And, and this guy is making. He's a, a billionaire, and you find out he's cheating on you. You dipping. Um, it's it depends on how I feel about him. <laughs> <laughs> no, because look, know. It, think about like, it. It depends. No, it's not, 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 on not on the money. Though. It depends on how I so, feel yeah, yeah, about yeah, him. That's what I mean. Because if I genuinely don't like him, I'm like, alright, bitch, buy it. Like, you know, but, not, if, yeah. but if I genuinely like am emotionally invested in him, I probably would give it a slide just yeah. because I'm emotionally invested and I know mm. myself. You know. Yeah. But if he's rich. I know, but I'm not. I don't care about the money. I'm saying if I'm emotionally invested in him, I'm probably gonna be like, hey, like but you would be less hesitant. Of him to than, be honest, that's than a guy you. has making like minimum wage at McDonald's. That's what I'm saying. Like minimum wage, wage yeah. dick ain't worth it, bro. If that nigga, uh, if, 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 if he cheated on here. you, bro, then fucking leave him. Like you can get another minimum wage dick. Uh, but if it's a billionaire, <laughs> that's the I only once in a lifetime or two in a lifetime. You know hey, what I'm saying? Minimum wage dick, it ain't good, bro. <laughs> 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 Speaking for yourself, or you tried it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from experience because I used to be yo yo cut him off because nah, I, I used to be that the beers, so. <laughs> oh, so bro you said you when you said speaking, speaking from experience you yeah, mean that you tried it I used to be minimum wage oh, stick uh, be, I wanted to wear the clothes what are you now not minimum wage bro six figure stick hey do it, bro. You got it. You got so it. So that means you can cheat. No, I wouldn't say cheat, but like. So, I can, so, I, yeah. so having money means you can cheat. Yeah, yeah. not, it, not well, really. Like I would be less hesitant for sure. Yeah, less let, me, let me spit out this quick quote. There's not I'm another not, motherfucker I'm that's gonna provide. Y'all. I mean, there's we could flip gonna, it. We could flip it. If a hard ass girl, and then this like average looking dude, mm -hmm. like if that motherfucker cheats, most most likely she will fucking leave him because like this motherfucker is average. Yeah. Let me say this. If an ugly ass bitch and like a hard ass dude, like come on, like. You'll be like, man. Only twenty percent of couples divorce that make over two hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, compared to uh, fifty percent the couples that make less than that. Because all those couples have agreements, and I know working in like restaurant life for a long time and knowing rich people, uh, like they they have agreements. To be honest, like all those couples they have, have arrangements. Agreements. To they have like, arrangements. Okay, this to, is what like, you do. This you weekend. can do it. I don't give a fuck. As long I as agree. you don't bring it to the house, then we good. Yeah. yeah. A yeah. lot of them have that. A lot of them have that. I mean, shit. I don't think I wouldn't put mm -hmm. myself like that in that situation. Like I said, because well, I, I mean, you don't know because you haven't got into there yet. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, you're right because I haven't had an actual relationship in like two years. To yeah. be honest, emotionally, maybe you're connected with that person. You're always going to stay emotionally connected with that person, mm -hmm. but sex is a different thing. Yeah. So we don't know till we 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 experience Jeez. it. We'll, we'll get there soon, boys. Hey. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Alright, boys. Yo. Stay loyal. Stay loyal, yo. Anything you want to say before we go? How are we done? I thought we had more. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you gotta go out, don't you? I don't know. It's already twelve. That makes me shit. Hey. Shit. The night's down. young, bro. <laughs> we can go to strip club. I mean, shit, never mind. <laughs> cut this. Cut this. <laughs> Alright, guys, we out. And on that note, make sure to like, subscribe. Hit the notification button. Thank See you guys so on the next one. Peace. Bye. Peace out.